Right, here's going to be with Max another video. Today, I'm doing another little tips and tricks video. I'm just going to talk over this game that I played earlier today. Uh, I got like 13 kills in one, so I'm just going to talk about what I do, my mindset in playing it. I got a 50% win rate season 4, so I want to like just tell you guys what goes through my mind when I'm playing. Maybe give you some tips, who knows? But <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best at the game, but I've got a decent win rate, so I just I share like my mindset. It just goes to show, you know, you don't have to be amazing to get a good win rate or get some wins. You just need to have the right like mindset and decision making. Um, but basically, first thing you want to consider is where you're landing. Like in this bus route, I was gonna go. I would usually go retail if I really want to survive. But for the purpose of this, I want to like talk about. What happens when you actually find people in your land? So I went salty instead. Uh, on the map, I've got it marked in green, uh, where I usually land. Uh, in yellow, where I sometimes land, and then in red is very rarely I go. Um, mainly, it's better to go in the middle, just in case of border. You don't want the border to be too hard to reach at the start of the game because you could be running the whole game, and it's just it's just a nightmare. Really, you want to kind of pick somewhere in the middle. Um, I mean it goes to landing, you just want to make sure you, uh, I, I don't know, personally I don't land on roofs because there's a chance you don't get a chest and if someone goes inside from the door, uh, you're in trouble basically because you don't have a chest, you have no gun, someone's in your house, if you try and run out, like someone else will shoot you, it's just not a good situation basically. Uh, and going through the door, there's way more guns and you can get mats at the start of the game, so it's like... I always go through doors, like, I've just given up giving it going on roofs now. It just doesn't work. Especially, like, if you go on a roof and someone starts, like, pickaxing you to death, it's just not what you want. But yeah, as you can see, I got, like, the worst start in the game. Um, no shotgun, three grey weapons, <laughs> and a couple of bandages. So no shield, no shotgun. It's, uh, it's not too great. So I just make sure I find someone and keep my distance. Um, at the start, I see a guy there, and just see that, yeah, I can see he's left a shotgun in there, so um, I just kind of see if I can get closer to it, see if I can get the shotgun. When you walk through doors, you want to always look on the roof for traps. Right, so I see a guy up on there. Now I didn't double, I didn't double ramp up or anything because I wanted to preserve Matt's early game. Didn't want to use up too many, so I just ramped up normally. He wasn't trying to shoot it down, so it was just a uh, yeah. Basically, you just got as long as you know the basics, and then it's just all down to like what decisions you make during the game. Is so I'm just keeping a close eye on my Matt account, making sure I get some more on the way in. Uh, you want to just start running into the border early as possible. Uh, if you can't find any players, just start running in. So here I've spotted a supply drops dropping. Um, I'm just heading towards that general direction because it's been tagged, so I expect someone to be going to it. Um, so I just get head in that general direction, really. So from about here, I noticed that it's still there for some reason. Like no one's come and got it, even though it's been tagged. So it makes me suspicious, and like someone's got to be watching it, really. Uh, I reckon they're up on that hill. Um, but so I make sure I box it off because I had a feeling that someone was going to be watching it, and my suspicion was correct, basically. There was someone just waiting and watching. So as I was about to fight him, I heard somebody else, so I just go a bit higher up and just start AR'ing down. I saw someone else's shotgun bullets over there. He just some <laughs> just some skin chilling over there really. Another little tip I like to bear in mind is uh, imagine someone's constantly watching you with a sniper. It's the only thing in the game that can kill you in one shot. So if you just imagine someone's constantly watching you with a sniper, you, you'll never stand still. Um, gives you the last chance of getting sniped. So from here I see somebody else up on the on the ramp. Just go to initiate a build fight, but he's uh, already jumped down, so I know he's not that great. So I play a little bit overconfident here, I must say. Usually I would not do that, like jump down on them. Oh, like, I just kind of screw up a bit because it's just, I just miss all my shots really and it's just not a good idea to do this. Waste of mats, just, I don't even know, but he wasn't that great. So 
so uh, I was pretty confident in just jumping down. You've got to keep an eye on the border regularly, so I noticed it's quite far away, so I begin to run in. My way in, I see a guy. Uh, I notice I've still got a minute and 45, so it's I've got plenty of time really to go for this guy and then go, go in afterwards, so I decided to head back and quickly get him. Again, I jumped down to him because I felt overconfident as hell. Because <laughs> he, I don't know, he didn't seem that great again, so I just jumped down. But, uh, on my way in, I used to get shot from behind. Do a quick check of the time, we got 20 seconds, so I just I just ignore him and just continue running. Yeah, surviving is just more important than getting kills, honestly. Like, you'll get kills the longer you're alive, so... You know, to ignore some people just to stay alive is honestly... The key, baby. So I see someone doing the same thing as me. He's about to use a launch pad, so just make sure I knock it down. Um, pick up a free kill there, basically. And that guy just kept losing the high ground. He just kept jumping further and further down. So I just followed him. Kept slightly above him every time. Here I spot a base, so I run up to it, uh, covered by the hill. So whoever's there can't exactly see me until I get close enough to build up. I'm getting shot from the hell above, so I just watch. Now here I see where the guys um, shot me from a minute ago. Uh, so I just edit, holding my sniper out. So if he peeks and tries to shoot down, uh, I can try and s take his head off, basically. Yeah, he just ducks down just in time. I try and preserve as many mats as possible, because I knew if he starts breaking it, I could place a, uh, a bounce pad, so I wasn't too worried about um, you know, double ramping and whatnot. He tries launch padding away. At least he looked like he was launch padding away. He just, he just turned around and went straight back the way he came. Um, so I just land above him basically. Keeping a couple of stories above him. Every time you take a bit of damage, you know, just make sure you shield up. It's better to try and just keep on top of your health if you can. I don't know where he went after this. Like, he opened the door and just pegged it. So I spot him under the ramp. Uh, his little head pops up for a split second, and I noticed that. Um, but he's also spotted me, so. But yeah, just keep it above him. And. Well done. So here, while I'm fighting this guy, I notice someone else is building, so uh, I kind of hold back a little bit uh, just to see what happens between them both. So after I ended up started using metal, I realised I've got a bit of a mat problem. I block off just there, just so because I keep hearing sniper bullets coming from that direction, so uh, I make sure no one tries to snipe me if I'm like peeking over the top. the other guy pushing now to quickly build up box myself in yeah if you're ever in doubt of where people are just box yourself in honestly is i try and get out the top i screw up the editing he gets uh, to place his wall so i just expect him to place a window so because i was predicting it uh, it was uh, kind of useless so i've got some material now but it's not really enough especially since i see obviously someone built above me uh, i notice i got six bounce pads so i can use that to get the height uh, because I don't have really enough mats to get all the way up. He's right there, make sure you roof up. I got a lucky shot off on there. I was tempted to go back for the med kits in this point, um, but they were already taken up by the border. This guy kept going up, um, and I really did not have the mat count to keep going higher. I'd, obviously at this point 73 I just had to build the last bit that I could just to keep that high ground 
it's near an end game. Um, I have 13 breaks to my name. <laughs> uh, so the first thing, I make sure he's gone down so I know I'm safe. I look around for where I can get nearest material really. So I just go over to the little hill. So I have to get a couple of mats. Uh, I just check through my traps, see what else I've got to work with. I think I've got a launch pad, so I think I can, you know, get the high ground again. So I might just try that. I ended up back here with less mats than I started, which is just not what I wanted. I thought I had more than I did. But thankfully we managed to kill that guy with full damage. So this is the final fight. So on the way in, I just made sure I got some material because that was literally the number one priority at this point. And I guessed he was in that box, to be honest. Um, I couldn't see him, but I just had a feeling he would be in there. And I just kept getting as many mats as I could before I actually had to fight. He starts building even higher. Now, I have a very low mat count, so I wasn't going to place walls in front of my ramps. I was just... Because I, I, I was fine, even if he knocked it down. I could just place a bounce pad. Then he goes even higher, um, but I can just I get to use mine as well to overtake him. So I got the high ground now. I have very low mats, so I can't afford to jump down and look for him. Um, after I start shooting a little bit, he starts panicking, jumps off. Uh, he must have boxed himself in back down there. Um, I was willing to let him try and break the bomb of it. That's why I assumed he'd do. So I had a trap ready to place so I could just survive the fall. Um, but he just didn't end up getting out the storm in time for some reason. But <laughs> it's whatever. And there we go. Just making these smart decisions while playing really does make a difference. Like You don't have to be amazing at the game to win. You just got to make, make the right decisions in the right situations. And then it's... Yeah. You